Hello, welcome to this video on how to design website logo in PowerPoint 2010. I am Partha Bhattacharya, founder of Hubskills.com, the ultimate destination for all resources on starting small web business. In this brief video, I will show you how I designed the logo of Hubskills.com in PowerPoint in less than half an hour. This is the PowerPoint presentation and I have three slides in it. This is the logo that I have on my website. These four elliptical circles seek to denote different skills that together form a hub, which is what my website is about. Let us first see how the four circles are made. Let me go to insert and then shapes. There are a lot of shapes that PowerPoint offers. For our present need, I will select Oval. Let me draw a small circle. Now, I want to change the appearance of this circle. So, keeping the circle selected, I click on the Format tab. Let me click Shape Outline and here I select No Outline. This means the oval shape will not have any border. Next, let me select this brick red color for the shape. Don't worry, you can change the color whenever you want. Ok, with the shape selected, let me simply press Ctrl plus C to copy it and then Ctrl plus V to paste the copy here. This shape is the exact copy of the first one. You can of course draw a fresh shape if you want. I want to increase the size of the shape. This I can do by dragging the handles. But if I do that, there is the chance that the shape may get distorted. To avoid that, I select the shape, then click Format, and now to the right, I click on this small icon. A dialog box opens as you can see. Let me click the checkbox Lock Aspect Ratio. This means the width and the height of the shape will increase proportionately if I increase its size. Let me now increase the size by clicking the width of the shape here. As you can see, the height is also increasing simultaneously. Let me now drag the shape to position it here. In the same way, I have created two more circles and positioned them close to the earlier ones. Let me now select all the four circles together. I right click here and from the menu that comes, let me select group and then group again. The four shapes are now grouped together. I will now want to give it a 3D rotation. To do that, I click on Shape Effects and then 3D Rotation. As I hover on various choices, see how the shape is also changing. Let me click on 3D Rotation Options. You can't see this as the drop-down is out of the recording area. This is the dialog box that opens. As I increase the rotation values for X, Y and Z, see how the shape is also changing. In this example, let me only change the Y value. Hmm, the logo now looks OK and just the right one for my need. Let me now create the text Hub Skills. The font is Aharoni, 
and the size 48. First, let me insert a similar text. Now with the text selected, let me click on Format tab. I click on Quick Styles and from all these choices, let me select the first one. My next step will be to reduce the character spacing and that will make the letters close to each other. Ok, now my logo creation is almost complete. I can change the color of the characters as I want. If you look closely, you will see that the colors of the words hub and skills are different in my logo. This is because I have made them separately and then brought them together. Hope this tutorial will encourage you to make the logo of your small business yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the latest video tips as I make them. Thanks for watching this video.